TFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. I'm the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour coming up straight after this Tiger Financial News Network noon update. The Dow is down 269 at 27,301. Yesterday made a recovery high of 27,580. Going from 18,213 on the 23rd of March to 27,580 in the weekly chart. Look at this. It's not a straight up move, but it is extremely sharp in terms of the angle. And that says, let's see what happens over the next few days, because this is where you would expect some kind of a consolidation. But look at the strength of the daily MACD, the moving average convergence divergence. Look at the strength at 95.77%. The stochastic and the on balance is at a high, which I said yesterday, it suggested that we might get a little bit of a pullback and we're in a leg D, so you can expect a peak D probably starting today. Look at the S&P. S&P, I hear um, that the, the S&P is actually a tad above its January high. This is very important, 32.05, down 26 yesterday, hit 32.33.33. .33. Spectacular move after the 21.91 low of the 23rd of March. Yep, you can expect some kind of, I, I, I was saying just subscribers to my opening call, my daily newsletter. This is where, this is the week that should be very choppy. And that's what I'm anticipating. I don't think we started the big move down yet. I think there's just, there are too many people that have missed the, the upside. I think that is a good cushion to the downside. Doesn't mean to say you can't pull back, but I just don't think this is it. Going to the QQQ, I hate to say this for any bears out there, this is an all time high. 243.42, going right to the resistance level in this up channel. We'll talk about that in my show, The Target Initials Hour, coming up in another couple of minutes. And look at this huge leg B in the weekly chart. That is that is really quite something. IWM, Russell 2000, down very sharply today. Actually has made a little bit, almost an island reversal, not quite. Down 325 at 149.84. Um, yesterday's high, that was a pretty big move. All of these are peak Ds that we're looking at, most of these peak Ds. And the weekly chart actually is a little more extended than the others. It's already in a leg D. So IWM is going to be the big tell. What happens coming up in the next two weeks? Does Do we see the um, small caps, the Russell 2000 start to move? Gold is up 18 and the dollar is struggling to try to find some kind of a, a low. Hasn't done it yet. I'll talk about that as well when we get back. Hope to see you in a few minutes for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Otherwise, see you tomorrow.